Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I have a bunch of colors. This totally awesome YouTube friend of mine sent me a little care package in the mail. Um, I don't want to mention her name because, you know, <laughs> want her privacy to be kept private. But you know who you are. Um, she sent me all these beautiful colors. She sent me some um, jewelry making pieces. She sent me some cups. She said, I mean, she sent me this awesome little goodie package. And I just wanted to, you know, sort of dedicate this painting to her. So I'm using all the colors that she sent me because it's just fun to use a bunch of colors. There's 15 colors here. Um, they're all craft smart. There were a couple other colors in there, but they weren't craft smart. So I didn't want to mix the paints together because I don't usually use craft smart and I don't usually use, I think it was deco art. So I didn't know how they would, you know, interplay. So we have got uh, dark orange, mint green, bright yellow, coral, purple, lime green, cherry cobbler, orange, bright blue, brown, violet, bright pink, yellow, gray, and holiday green. So these are the colors we're going to do today. We're sort of going to do kind of like a painting I did, I don't know, a long while back. It's going to be two separate cups here, and we're going to do sort of, you know, this with both cups, overlapping a little bit, and, and then just sort of tilting just to see what we get. I've got silicone in all my colors. I don't have any white or black. Uh, my white tends to sink anyway, so... I kind of thought, let's just leave the white out at this point. Um, so yeah, you know who you are. This painting is dedicated to you. Um, yeah, when I got the care package, I, you know, dumped it out on the floor. And me and the girls were looking through it, and they were all excited. You know, they wanted to start making some jewelry and doing some paintings right away. And, um, you know, I just kind of sat there and stared at it all and, and just kind of thought about how how awesome it is to, you know, have people in the world that, that are, are just kind people like that, you know, um, y'all know I'm, I'm broke and, uh, I'm always begging for money. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that one day I can sort of pay it forward. So, um, you know, yeah. So thank you very much. Okay. Let's get on with it. I've got silicone in all of my colors today just a little bit you know i only ever put like a drop or two uh, i think all the paints but like one or two have basically two drops in them and we're just gonna kind of pour the cups i think i'm gonna do like you know so that the darker colors and the lighter colors so like or the warm colors and the cool colors together so uh, i'm going to just sort of mix them up as i go along we're going to start with the cool colors and hopefully I'm not going to make a huge mess. I already dumped over one cup all over this table, but luckily I have this, <laughs> this tablecloth here that is like a plastic tablecloth. And uh, luckily the paint just sort of set on top and, I, and it was, you know, it's a nice clean tablecloth. So I was able to scrape up all of the paint and save it. Thank goodness. Um, I don't know how these colors are all going to work together because they are, I think most of these colors are opaque and I try and sort of mix my opaques with my, um, transparent because it tends to work a little better that way. I usually try and sort of have 50, 50, you know, like half transparent, half, um, half opaque. So we'll see. And of course, all these colors that I'm mixing together could turn muddy very quickly. They're all sinking through each other. So um, I don't know what kind of mixing we've got going on here. I'm not seeing any cells come to the surface. So um, that's a little daunting, but who knows what we're going to get once we pour it all out. And as you can see, this is the one that I dumped all over the table because it's like a huge mess. <laughs> I got this this comment that I posted a video today so this vi this video you guys won't see until um, Friday so uh, the video I posted today which is Monday uh, was um, the record the records on the um, the spinner and 
this dude left me this comment. Um, you know, every once in a while you get a comment that, you know, is not all that nice. And um, you usually kind of ignore them. But this one just, like, made me laugh, so I had to share it with y'all. All he said was, uh, he wrote down the time of a particular spot in the video, and he wrote true. That's all he wrote. And so, obviously, I had to go back and look at my video <laughs> to see, at that particular time, what I said or what I did. Well, it just happened to be the time in the video where I had focused in on... Um, the splatter on the table and I made some comment about how it was cooler than the painting and he wrote true so I was like thanks dude <laughs> but I laughed because you know not everybody's gonna like what you do and that painting you know obviously did not turn out the way I wanted it to either so um, thanks for keeping it real I uh I even you know even the negative comments I appreciate you know you took the time to give me some feedback so no hard feelings I think it's cool that you know at least you said something and you know at least you're watching my video so hopefully you'll keep watching you know who you are <laughs> hopefully you'll keep watching and maybe you'll like um, what I do next I don't know maybe you know this painting here or the next one hopefully you'll decide you like like my stuff okay so I really don't want this to sit too long, but I, I also don't want, um, you know, I want to be able to pour them like right after each other. So I'll try and do this super quick here and like try and stop gabbing long enough to get these paints poured in there. I'm just kind of stirring the silicone in just a little bit real quick. All these paints are really totally just kind of mixing together, but who cares? Who knows what it's going to turn out looking like? They are really mixing. They're all heavy. They're all just sinking. But well, I can see some cells coming up in this one. That's at least a good sign. Thank goodness. Like I said, I've never, I haven't used, I think I used Craft Smart like one time and I don't even, I don't think I did it on a video. I think it was like before I started videoing. So I really have no idea how it worked for me. I just know, y'all know me, I'm cheap. So I went back for the cheap stuff, which is the stuff from, the cheaper stuff from Walmart. And I know there are people out there that get way cooler cells than me. I understand that but um, I use this you know these paints because um, because basically you know I hate washing the silicone off of my paintings <laughs> so if I can use these these paints and not have to wash the silicone off even if I don't get cells that look like other people's cells uh, that's what I'm gonna do plus it shows people that you know you can still get beautiful cells they may not be as cool as like some people's and I won't mention anybody's name but um but you know when you're on a budget sometimes there's just no way you're ever going to be able to afford the expensive stuff so you know I don't know okay so now my cups are both filled Let's put a pinch more red I love this red color it's called cherry cobbler it's it's like kind of close to my cranberry but not as pink obviously but it's a really pretty color. So now we're just going to sort of do this with them and kind of tilt it and see what we get. So hopefully it's going to be cool. Let's do the dark first. And they're not seeing any cells come up at all, but I'm hoping that once we torch it. Oh, look, there we go. Look at those cells coming up. <gasps> Ooh, awesome. Oh, and I just covered over half of those cells.
I don't even know where to go with this. Kind of trying to let all the paint kind of flow out. Man, these cells are cool. I'm getting some neat cells. Wow, I'm kind of digging this paint. All right, so this is going to make a huge mess on the table. And we're going to pour a lot of it off too. Whoa. Get it going off that bottom there. Okay. Let's see if we can bring it back a little bit. Let's see if we can do something a little more interesting. I don't know. The colors are really bright, so. needs something else. I don't know what it needs. It needs it just needs something. I don't know what it needs. And of course all of my cool cells are gone. Because I you know I had to pour them off. I don't like I don't know. I mean, I like like this section, the colors in it, but the purple going through there, I don't like. But there's really not a lot I can do about it unless I pour it all off. I kind of want to pour it off because I really don't like that purple. Y'all are probably cringing because now it's kind of boring. Come on, baby. Plus, there was so much paint on there, I had to pour a lot of it off because if I didn't, it was going to um, dry cracked. It's, it was just way too much paint. Now it's boring. And now I'm like thinking of a word that I can't say out loud, but it's there anyway. Okay. Well, let me wipe my hands off here. We'll torch it and see if we get anything else coming up. I had some really cool cells come up to begin with, but now it's just kind of blah. not. I'm going to try my old trusted tried and true friend here if I can get it to come on. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes the cells come up better with this little bitty torch than they do with that big one for some reason. But I'm not really getting much of anything at all. Except popping a bunch of air bubbles. Well, I'm kind of bummed because I mean I had some really cool cells that popped up as soon as I first started this, but now it's it just kind of turned bleh. Popping lots of air bubbles. I forgot I had a little button on the side. Oh, we're running out of juice. Okay. 
I'm going to torch this for another minute, but I'm going to do it off camera because I'm going to sit here and do it for a minute. And I don't want y'all sitting there bored. Be right back. Okay. So as you can see, nothing else came up. Um, so it's, I love the, the oranges and the yellows and this green, you know, kind of mixing together with a little bit of that blue. But what I don't care for is like this through here. It doesn't, I don't know, it, it just bothers me. I like this. This blue and the green and, and the way the peach and pink and stuff kind of mixed together right there are really pretty, but uh, this is a totally boring painting. <laughs> pretty colors, but boring. So, okay, it's where I'm going to leave you, but we're going to try again um, in the next video. Fill in that little hole right there. In the next video, we're going to do the same colors. I'm just going to mix them all into one cup and we're going to do a flip cup and we're going to see how cool it turns out but right now i'm just kind of filling in some little spots on the side where my silicone is kind of coming through uh it doesn't like the edges of the paintings it doesn't like the edge of the canvas it kind of gets pulled down um okay so i'd bring you down for a close-up shot but you're really pretty much seeing it and it's not real exciting so this is where I'm going to leave you. Here's your kind of pretty for today. Uh, again, I want to thank you to the lovely person who sent me these beautiful paints and all these other little toys and supplies to play with. Um, my girls, uh, you know, they love it. Totally excited. Um, and me too. So, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> like sometimes playing in the paint afterwards is like the most fun you know even more fun than like the actual painting because like look at that I don't know well no it's not in focus sorry okay so anyway that's where I'm gonna leave you there's your pretty for today uh yeah wherever you are on the planet I hope you're having an awesome afternoon day evening or night see you later bye